This next method for um, concept generation is called gallery method. Um, it's uh, composed of four different steps, as you can see here. The first one is idea generation. Uh, it's giving a suggestion of 15 minutes, and it's done individually. Sometimes they're done on post-it notes. You'll write down different ideas and things like that. And then what you'll do is you will hang them on a wall somewhere uh, and kind of associate them as like an art gallery. So you may have certain ones that maybe like for a vehicle or something uh, might be about the door or it might be about the tire. Uh, so you categorize these uh, concepts around the room uh, by uh, different categories, right? Um, and you'll generate, typically it says 15 minutes, um, I have used this method uh, in a number of different settings. Um, one was when I was developing uh, inkjet printers. Uh, we did this and we did it over a week's time frame as opposed to 15 minutes. And we had it running down our hall. And we would put up ideas in different categories like per the print head, per the carriage, uh, the cover, paper feed, different areas. We would have different concepts and, and we would uh, enter those in that area. Um, and as you look at it, right, you can uh, get other ideas and generate more ideas as in steps three on here. Um, and then it says selection uh, ideas are reviewed, classified, and selected. So really we kind of would associate them into different areas and then we would use our concept selection methods, which we'll talk about in the next lecture. Um, I also used this recently in a meeting we had. Uh, we would generate different ideas on a new program for engineering, and we had different areas like marketing, uh, classes, offerings, labs, things like that, that were uh, then associated and put in a gallery type method. So this is a rather useful method also. Uh, again, it's kind of done individually, but as you see other ones being posted, you can hang other ones. Uh, and again, you can use brainstorming after this also.